If you sell on eBay and you struggle to do your product research in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to automate your product research. So this is going to be a step by step video. Let's get started. My name is Zencha. I've been selling on eBay and Amazon for the past 11 years. And my mission on this channel is to help you make £100,000 every single year. I have a lot of experience when it comes to selling on eBay and Amazon. We're going to be using a tool called Zeek Analytics. The reason we are using a Zeek Analytics because if you sell on eBay and you are really serious about selling on eBay, Zeek Analytics have a $1 trial as well. So you can sign up for the $1 trial. I'm going to put the link for that inside the description. You can play around with it and I can tell you if you are somebody who struggled to do the product research, you're definitely going to love this tool. And this should be the first tool you should subscribe to if you are an eBay seller. Let's get started with the video. So once you will be inside the Zeek Analytics, $1 trial give you access to each and every feature for you to try and test and see how they will work out for you as well. So the first thing which I normally like to do once you come inside the Zeek analytics you can click on this sign right here it's called Zeek Pro this is the way it's going to be really easy for you to do the product research I'm going to show you multiple ways you can find different different products and also the suppliers as well so once you're going to click on Zeek Pro this is a 500 best selling items right here so I will open that one and these are the 500 best selling item which are in last 48 hours so Zeek analytics do scan the entire data on eBay depending on a country wherever you are you can actually pick up the location right here as well and see the fast selling item within your country so I am in the United Kingdom I'm gonna pick up UK right here and what I like to do try to stay away from the items which are like you know branded items you might have a trouble with a brand you might not have an approval from the brand as well so we are looking for some kind of generic item to sell so there are a couple of different different types of item once you see the item which really inspire you this is just to take some kind of inspiration just for example if i go down right here i would see this uh, ews headphone is doing really really well so once you find that type of item you can click on this graph side right here and then it will look into further into that category that types of products as well and tell you within these type of item what items are doing well so this one right here this one uh, is a seller uh, we are trying to look for somebody who is a UK seller so we got this one right here we got this one right here so for example this item right here they the seller only have 2161 feedback so pretty new seller that's what I like to see the seller who have a less feedback and uh, they are getting some type of sale as well and if you see this one right here the sign also say they are likely to be dropshipper so if that sign will come on a listing the chances are they could be dropshipping this item as well because Zeek Analytics try to detect the seller location and also in a country where they are shipping their item as well so for example let's say I want to sell this type of item as well but I'm going to do normally you can click right here for me it's the amazon sign right here but obviously you can look at this item on aliexpress you can look at on cj drop shipping you can look at at walmart you can look at at alibaba different different suppliers option as well so let's say i just simply go right here and look for these types of item on aliexpress once i come to aliexpress you can see the 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 headphones which are similar to the ones we looked at inside the zeke analytics you can see right here they are going for nine pound ten pound some of them 14 pounds some of them for even 15 pounds some of them for you know the price is in the range of let's say 10 pound 11 15 but these types of head are headphone on aliexpress even if we need to do drop shipping or we can buy like you know the way i try to do it you can also message the seller and let's say you want to buy 20 of them or 25 of them you want to start something on a lower budget you can always message them like okay i want to buy 20 of them what is the best price you can give me so let's say I want to start with the uh, this type of item right here. This is the TWS, very similar to the one we looked at. The price for this one is 481. So you once you click on that one, 
it will also give you the the seller information as well so you can normally you can see the contact this uh, contact the seller right here and you can tell okay i want to buy 20 of them what would be the best price including the shipping you can give it to me so the shipping to united kingdom is 44 uh, pence for this particular item so normally i try my best to negotiate the price even if i'm buying from aliexpress so let's say you want to start with 100 of these one as well that will cost you in the range of maybe be 450 pound because you can always negotiate the price and that would be maybe 450 an item and you can sell these similar types of item right on a on a ebay because they are going for it like this one right here you can see it's a very similar one even though the delivery is not faster for this one this is coming from china but you can bring it over to the uk and then you can ship it to the customer this way they will get the faster delivery so you might be able to charge maybe 14.99 even 15 pounds sometime for these types of item as well so this literally like took me i don't know maybe three four minutes and then i came across a multiple multiple products which i can look into uh you know further down and i can see what types of item are doing really really well so what i normally do when i see the seller like this so for example we looked at uh, this particular seller right here they and this particular seller here as well they are like very new to ebay platform and they are doing drop shipping so what i like to do is because they are new seller and they are new to the platform if they are selling something successfully the chances are we might be able to sell the similar item successfully as well so there is a feature inside the zeek analytics called scan seller so once you click on scan seller right here then the zeek analytics will try to scan their entire store so it's going to be something like this so zeek analytics have found they are making uh, the sale like for a new seller the sale of over 5000 is not bad they only have 16 listings which is you know their success items are all showing up right here so i can filter that like in the terms of a uh, sale last 30 day sale as well and then i can sort of look at their item whatever is doing well for them as a new seller the chances are the similar types of item will do well for me as well so for example uh this wireless charging pad is doing really well for them this uh, universal gps tracker is doing really well for them as well so if i need to uh, find the supplier for this one they are selling for 6.99 right here if i need to find the supplier i'm gonna click right here and then i can just simply search on aliexpress and then ali on the aliexpress then it will show me what are the prices for these types of item right here so these are you know you can see this one right here even this one is a little as two pound and 64 pence right here there are other one three pound four pound and this one is just even for two pound as well even we put the shipping on the top maybe Maybe this is going to be maximum three pound and if we go back to zeek analytics they, they are selling this one for 6.99 so once you start like this and you, then you find a seller you can look into their products further and you can kind of you know uh copy their entire store if you want to and look into the item which they are doing well because it will do well for you because they are new seller and you're going to be the new seller if something is working better for them the chances are the same products will work better for you as well the other thing which i like to do when i keep it running inside the zeek analytics to give me the products like you know updates on the product every single day because i run the scan on the back so inside the autopilot this is doing all the heavy lifting for me every single day so what you can do you can actually select the criteria i'm going to show you how to do it so you when you come to Zeek Pro, you can go to autopilot right here and inside the autopilot, you can actually run the scan on a regular basis. So I have multiple scans running right here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run a new scan just to show you how it works so for example this is a new scan and here i'm gonna call it a today scan and then you can pick up a supplier here so let's say aliexpress.com so what zeek analytics will do it will compare the prices on an item on aliexpress with the ebay so it will if it will find the items then it will put them inside this list so we want to have minimum four sales maximum 100 sales uh uh, five pound to 50 pound and then i want to find about 300 products right here so you pick up this criteria i like to keep that like this is 
the one I set. You can copy this one as well. That's not the problem. I keep it to the seven days because I want to get the latest, latest item. I don't want to look into the old item which are not selling now. So click on start your scan and then this scan you can see right here it is running on a back end so i'm going to come back and i'm going to show you what it will find as well so another scan which i like to keep in keep it running on the back end as well is the another one called turbo scanner inside the zeek analytics so what the turbo scanner does once you come right here you can actually compare the prices on the item on amazon with the ebay so if anything which is have a, a lower price on amazon and it have a higher price on ebay those are the potential items to sell as well so what you can do select a like because i'm in uk i'm gonna select amazon.co.uk category any category doesn't matter because we are selling on ebay so ebay doesn't have like you know restrictions and those type of stuff as well it's only like a gated categories only exist on uh, amazon and then um, 15 to 20 pound and then I, I i leave everything just like that and then you can just click on scan and then this scan is also running on the back end right here you can see it is already completed the one i uh i'm running today so let's look at this one and then i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna show you the other one so if we open this one right here these are all items right here which zeek analytics have compared with the amazon and it have a higher price on amazon and they have a lower price on ebay so it will give you the product asn number as well it will show you the price as well it will tell you the sale in last 30 days as well the reviews as well the bsr all those uh, type of stuff as well so these are all the products right here so if you have that scan running then it get updated every single day so i have this running all the time i just come here sometime and i look at but this is good once you need like a starting point you need some kind of inspiration so if i go back and i go to the autopilot right here then this was the scan that we run for aliexpress today so we can actually open this one and then it will show us what products it have found which have a lower price on aliexpress and a higher price on ebay so you can always see this one right here this is portable ssd this is smart watch bands right here so whenever if i need to see a, a supplier for any a, any item i can just simply click right here and it's gonna find me the supplier on aliexpress as well so there are a lot of a lot of different items you know some of them they're gonna be really really uh you know worth selling at the end of day so i take a little bit of time to just filter out what products will be you know fit in within my niche i don't have like a particular niche as long as if i make a profit on some particular item i just sell that item the niche doesn't really matter to me so these are all the items so if i need to look into the supplier for some particular item i can just simply click here and it will find me the supplier so this is the way i try to really automate my product research so autopilot and a turbo scanners are running on a back end all the time and I just, whenever I need to launch a new product, I can just simply go there, do a little bit of work, try to find a supplier, tr talk to the supplier and just launch that product. So I hope this video will help you somehow. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm, I'm going to put one video link right here, which will show you how differently you can use a Zeek Analytics because there are many other things you can do within the Zeek Analytics. So check this video right here. I'm going to put the link for Zeek Analytics inside the description.